This is George. George is a dollar bill. This is Ricky. Ricky is a 17-year-old boy who works at his local grocery store five days a week, eight hours a day. Ricky's dad is home often, so he spends most of his time relaxing at home and working, making just enough money to get by. Hi, can I get a Boston cream donut and an ice water, please? Yeah, that'll be 105, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Steven. Steven is a 19-year-old trade school student. When he's not working at his fast food minimum wage job, he's either working on his broken car, trying to bulk up his muscles for the ladies, or eating his favorite meal, macaroni and cheese with hot dog slices mixed in. <laughs> Steven's job when the restaurant isn't busy is to keep an eye on the lobby, although he often slacks and plays games on a cellular device instead. This is Adam, a local thug who robs convenience stores and fast food restaurants for extra cash inside. He's also the new owner of George. Eventually, George will make his way all the way across the Metro Detroit area. Pocket to pocket, person to person, George is always there. Eventually, George makes his way into the hands of Anthony Montana, the local 23-year-old mob boss, son of the 1980s mob boss, Jesse Montana. Anthony Montana often gets himself into tight situations. Situations where a man has to hide a briefcase full of money. And when you hide a briefcase full of money, a 17-year-old boy might just find out on his way home from school. This is Ricky. Ricky doesn't have too much to be happy about in his life. Ricky is a good person, who makes good decisions, both in his actions and with his money. Ricky and George are finally reunited, and because Ricky was smart with his money and how he used it, George made sure Ricky eventually reaped the benefits himself.